So today I'm going to be reviewing the new agency business which comes with the new contract DLC. So is this business worth buying? Uh, yeah, I, I think it is. It's great for solo players and it pays a lot. Also, the business comes with a lot of cool features. So first half of this video, I'll be talking about the missions and the payouts. And then in the second half, I'll talk about the agency and all the cool stuff it comes with. So agencies cost between 2 and 2.8 million. And after the intro cutscene, you can go on your computer for missions, kind of like in the CEO office. First are the security jobs. These are five different types of free roam missions that rotate when you complete one, but only three are shown at a time. And there are three difficulties, professional, specialist, and uh, specialist plus, which is basically easy, medium, and hard. Professional pays around 30 to 40,000, specialist pays 40 to 50, and specialist plus pays 60 to 78. Not sure if they go over 78, but the highest I've gotten from a uh, specialist plus mission is 78,500. And there's a five minute cooldown after you finish one of these missions before you can start another one. Once you finish enough security jobs, you unlock payphone assassinations and you'll see this phone icon and hear a telephone ringing. Go up to it and the mission will start. These are pretty easy and pay 15,000 by default, but every mission has a bonus payout. Franklin will tell you specifically how to kill that target and if you do it that way, you'll get an extra 70,000. So if you get the bonus kill, these missions will pay you 85,000 every single time, uh, but there is a 15 minute cooldown. Now after completing enough security jobs, you unlock the VIP contract, which is recovering Dr. Dre's stolen phone, which is, you know, you saw that in all the trailers, that's this part of the business. So you'll see this screen and there are nine free roam missions split into groups of three and those pay 10,000 each. And there's five main missions with full on cutscenes that pay 100,000 each. And you'll get 1 million on completion of the entire VIP contract and the entire thing is replayable once you finish it. Now, as I said earlier, you can complete all these missions by yourself as a solo player or with up to three other players. I played solo and in terms of difficulty, it's not that hard. You just have to be patient because all of these missions are they're pretty much just shooting galleries. So it's you and sometimes they give you AI to help versus waves and waves of enemies. Um, yeah, that's all these missions are. So as a solo player, it's not that hard, just kind of time consuming. Uh, the casino penthouse DLC missions were the same and I hated those but these are their free roam missions so you can die as much and the mission won't fail so that makes it a lot less frustrating also they don't do that thing where they're broadcast to the entire server what you're doing so no one really comes after you once you're doing these free roam missions I pretty much beat this uh, this entire DLC in like a day and a half so with the help of other people you can probably finish this uh, all in a day and by the time you finish the security jobs and the VIP contract, you've pretty much already made back the money you spent on the agency. A total of 1.6 mil for completing the VIP contract. And with the amount of security jobs required to unlock the VIP contract, you would have made close to 500,000 if not more once you select the highest paying job out of all three shown every time. Uh, if I'm being honest, the VIP contract is basically 14 to 15 missions for 1.6 mil. I'd rather do the Casino or the Cayo Perico Heist. It's a lot less work and would probably give me more money. Um, but the security and payphone hit jobs are great for getting fast money. One payphone hit if you get the uh, bonus payout and one security job on hard difficulty can easily make you over 100,000 in less than 10 minutes really. Uh, so yeah, that's the business, that's the missions and the, uh, the payouts, but enough about that. So here's what you get with the agency business. Uh, if you get the armory and vehicle workshop, both of them combined will cost you an extra 1.5 on top of the agency's cost. The armory is basically just ammunition in a building. All the guns you can get at the store, you can now get here, plus this cool uh, EMP gun for an extra 300,000. Uh, and you get a 5% discount on all purchases. It also comes with a weapon safe to customize your loadout and a weapon workshop so you can upgrade your gun to the MK2 variant. You get all of that for 800,000, which is super cheap because in the past you had to pay for all those things separately from different businesses. So you save a lot of money. 
the uh, the vehicle workshop works like the mechanic, but you can now install weapons on cars that allow them from here now. Um, there's also a twin car garage included and a free Enos Jubilee, which is pretty much this Bentley Jeep. Uh, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of fast and it handles pretty good and also it looks great. And a free Volito, a Volito? I, whatever the fuck it's called, I can't remember. You get a free one of those helicopters. And after you buy the vehicle workshop, the Jeep gets upgraded to bulletproof glass and can now take up to three rockets before being destroyed. You can call Franklin and request a security job if you're driving around and he'll choose one at random instead of you having to drive all the way back to the office computer to start one. Or you can call for a payphone hit instead of waiting for one to uh, randomly spawn. You can call the company Jeep to drive around yourself or you can actually have the Jeep drop you off to wherever you have a waypoint set to on the map. The AI drives fast and actually it's, it's not that bad, it's definitely better than getting the, uh, the taxi to drop you off anywhere. And finally you get a stash of ammo and armor for 5000. This isn't the end of the VIP contract missions, Franklin said at the beginning that he's like trying to get somebody named Rosalia as a client for us, but she may not be ready yet, pretty much meaning Rockstar probably will release another contract VIP job at some point in the future. Uh, because they always just drip feed content after a big DLC update. So yeah, pretty much just look forward for uh, another VIP contract job at some point, maybe next year. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. So if you liked it, drop a like and comment down below what you think about the new DLC. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.